Okay, well, th thank you for joining us today. Good morning and welcome. Uh, we're here to celebrate this important milestone in our long-term efforts to maintain water sustainability here in the Coachella Valley. My name is John Powell, and I'm the uh, board president of Coachella Valley uh, Water District. Uh, and if you would, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. First, I wanted to recognize uh, my fellow board members here, um, mostly in this area right here. Uh, Vice President Castle Estrada, uh, Director Peter Nelson, Director Patrick O'Dowd, and Director Anthony Bianco. We also have a number of other elected officials here this morning joining us. Uh, we have uh, Joe Stewart with Desert Water, uh, President of the Board, Desert Water Agency. Hi, Joe. Uh, we have uh, Stephen Hernandez, Mayor of Coachella, and there you are, and Emmanuel, Emmanuel Martinez, uh, Mayor Pro Tem, City of Coachella. There he is. We have Oscar Ortiz, uh, City of Indio, uh, a council member at City of Indio. There you are. Nice to see you. Nice hat. Uh, uh, Martin Magana with CVAG. Is Martin here? No, not here. That's okay. Charlie McClendon, uh, uh, City of Cathedral City uh, manager. Charlie, there he is. We have uh, Peter Carlstrom with uh, Congressman Ree's office. Thanks for coming out. And also Miguel Ochoa with Assemblyman Garcia's office. Thanks for coming out. And I hope I didn't miss anybody. Raise your hand if I, if you're a dignitary. There, I'm sorry, the gentleman in the yellow vest back there. Hold up that sign. You're you're really important. I know. I slow stop. Let me know when I'm finished. Just turns. All right. Thank you. Uh, I'd also like like to recognize the CVWD staff who've worked on this project. There's a complete list in the program, but I'd especially like to thank our general manager Jim Barrett. Uh, there's Jim, our new new director of engineering, but not really new to us, Carrie Oliphant, D director of environmental services, Steve Bigley, Steve. our director of operations, Dan Ferris, uh, non-potable water operations manager, Olivia Bennett and her st staff. Our engineering staff, uh, Armando Rodriguez and Diego Colorado. Right. And our assistant director of operations, Mike Garcia. And if he's here, raise his hand. Our Warp 10 chief operator, Jose Pat Medina. Are you here? Not here. And also our electronics and electrical staff. And uh, lastly, I would like to recognize the contractor and the engineer of record. Our contractor on the project is W.M. Lyles, uh, represented by Yvette Ion and Mike Heron. Thank you. And then our engineer of record, which is GEI, is Mark Rosman and, and Rich Sanchez. So thanks for coming out, guys. So the purpose of the project is to help prevent groundwater level declines and improve groundwater quality primarily within the Westwater River subbasin area benefit of the Coachella Valley Basin. This project is a project that demonstrates innovation and resourcefulness. And I think a lot of this is in the, the program, but I'll read a little bit of it. CVWD's successful recycled water program has allowed nine existing percolation ponds that were already on this property to be reconfigured into five groundwater replenishment ponds. Uh, and it's only possible because of the uh, investment we made um, well, about 15 years ago, uh, $49 million to install the Mid Valley Pipeline that provides Colorado River water to this part of uh, the valley. Uh, in order to build this uh, facility, we upgraded the Mid Valley Pump Station, which I believe is in Indio, with two 800 horsepower pumps and motors and a second 42,000 gallon surge tank. 
Uh, and we also installed a canal water pump station adjacent to the back feed reservoir, which is right over here, to pump Colorado River water to the replenishment ponds. We also installed a 24-inch diameter pipeline from the canal water pump station to, to the ponds. Uh, so CVW has always been focused on ensuring the reliability of the water supplies of this region, and doing so is critical to our environment, to the vibrant economy that we all enjoy, and to our livelihoods. But we have not done it alone. Uh, and I have to say, just kind of ad-libbing, this is kind of a big deal, so I'm glad you're here. This is like a historic moment for the Valley. Uh, I wasn't around when they dedicated the ponds in uh, Whitewater in, I believe it was 1973, but then we did dedicate the Levy facility in La Quinta. I was able to see that. Uh, and, and this is really the third one, and, and it is a nice uh, balance around the valley. So we have one over there, we have one over there, and now this one's really the one in the middle. Uh, and, it, and it really helps us achieve our mission of sustainer, st sustainable groundwater management. Um, and we've had partners, um, and in the future, including the community and groundwater pumpers who fund replenishment projects like these, we also partner with Desert Water Agency on groundwater replenishment in the West Valley. Uh, and Desert Water Agency has been working with CVWD on groundwater replenishment since the 1970s at our Whitewater facility, which is where you see all those windmills. Uh, and I'm pleased at this time to introduce Desert Water Agency President Joseph Stewart. Come on up. I'm going to hand you the mic. Thank you, John. Good morning, everyone. My name is Joe Stewart, and I'm the president of the Board of Directors of the Desert Water Agency. I'm honored to be here today to help celebrate the next step in the long journey of sustainability. In my time on the DWA board, I have had the opportunity to see how diligently CVWD works to better our community and its future. For decades, our agencies have worked together as partners, bringing water to the valley so that the next generations can use and enjoy it as we do today. We come from a long line of water, ma water managers that were ahead of their times. It has been our responsibility and privilege to continue in their footsteps. This facility will improve groundwater conditions in the central Coachella Valley and further secure the diversity of water imports. It was an innovative concept to repurpose this existing site to create the first Mid-Valley Recharge per Percolation Ponds. In 1973, CVWD and DWA opened the Valley's first water replenishment site in the area northwest of Pond Springs. Over the years, CVWD and DWA have worked together to add facilities to make water replenishment efforts more effective. Our agencies also came together in 1967 to form an invaluable trade relationship with the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California so that our state water project supplies can be delivered via the Colorado River Aqueduct, which comes right through our community. Our agencies have replenished more than 3.5 trillion gallons of water. This relationship is uh, illustrative of the power that collaborations have. Our work has saved our customers billions and billions of dollars. You have led the way, along with other local water districts, in developing plans that will continue to make us sustainable. We're working together through the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act to manage the Indio and Mission Creeks basins. We also have worked in tandem on cons conserving this most precious resource with various programs and outreach. As our community continues to grow and thrive, our agencies are here to support it together. I commend you and your team on the investment in this facility. On behalf of all the board members and the staff of the Desert Water Agency, we warmly congratulate you on this milestone, and we are proud and fortunate to call you partners. Thank you, John. Thank you, Thank you Joe. It really is great to see uh, folks working together. <clears throat> Looking forward, uh, the next steps in groundwater management largely stem from the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act, uh, which is California-based, 
a lot of the things in there we've already been doing, but now it, that's really dictating exactly how to do these things. Uh, we're fortunate to have both Coachella Water Authority and Indo India Water Authority at the table as groundwater sustainability agency, agencies as we work towards the goals of, of that effort of complying with Sigma. Uh, and this collaboration is vital to all of our success. Uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce City of Coachella Mayor Pro Tem Emmanuel Martinez. Come on up. Thank you, Mr. Powell. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today on behalf of the City of Coachella, who is a proud partner of the Coachella Valley Water District. Um, we have six wells in the city uh, that we use to pump water to serve our residents, uh, about 8,500 accounts or so. So it's a lot of, a lot of water uh, that we pump. And, and that as a groundwater sustainability agency, or GSA, um, we also contribute towards our groundwater management and CVWD plays a very vital and important role in that partnership in making sure that we have a sustainable groundwater uh, plan for the future. Uh, now, uh, me as a, as a new parent uh, and, and my son and thinking about all the young families, I, I think about those things very seriously and what we're going to leave for the future of the Coachella Valley and, and the future residents that are going to tackle these complex water issues. You know, they say that... Uh, you know, very uh, 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 prominent uh, saying in water is whiskey's for drinking and water's for fighting. But no matter what's going on in politics, uh, as it relates to water, right, which is the allocation of scarce resources. And we know now in times of drought, water is very scarce. Uh, we know that ultimately at the end of the day, we've got a partner. And these type of partnerships are very important. And even though the city of Coachella is not in the this primary, primary area of benefit, uh, it's still vital for the entire Coachella Valley that one uh, and as a whole valley we are addressing this issue and so for that we want to thank CVWD and its leadership and and the board for all the work and staff for everything that it does and um, and I guess uh, you know uh, on behalf of the city of Coachella we're very very uh, 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 thankful for being at the table and having our two by twos and ongoing conversations about water uh, which are very important to the Coachella uh, to the entire Coachella and so with that I just want to say thank you um, I, I don't know exactly how I got on the on this uh, agenda to speak, but that's what happens when the mayor is taking care of the first dog of the city, you know, back there. Uh, so I just wanted to, to did, did I say everything that you want to say, Mayor? Good. So thank you for that, and um, really looking forward to uh, our working collaboration with CVWD. Thank you. You should be really careful not to be upstaged by a dog, because it's super cute. So, yeah, thanks, Emmanuel. Uh, this uh, facility is a great milestone in our long-term water management plan, but we do have more things coming. Uh, we will continue our commitment uh, through additional uh, innovative projects such as phase two of this facility. And phase two includes designing a mid-valley pipeline extension within the Whitewater River stormwater channel uh, and what we're talking about now is, is going farther west, up the channel. Phase two, uh, again, we will be resourceful in reconfiguring the existing secondary effluent storage ponds located at Warp 10. And phase two is currently under design and construction is expend, uh, ex expected to begin this summer. Uh, so exciting. Uh, I'm glad you're here to celebrate with us. A uh, lot to look forward to. I think we have a really bright water future. And with that, I'd like to welcome my fellow board members to join me over there <laughs> to turn the valve so that we can begin replenishing water at this new facility. So come on over. 